All right, here's another one of those Let's Talk videos. Mark chapter 14. A real quick one here tonight, I think. Maybe just five minutes, maybe. Um, everybody focuses on um, Peter's denial of Christ. And I want to point out one real quick thing here. If you read 27 through 31... Then Jesus said to them, All of you will fall away because it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter told him, Even if everyone falls away, I will not. Truly I tell you, Jesus said to him, Today, this very night, before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. But he kept insisting, If I have to die with you, I will never deny you. And they all said the same thing. There's my main point. So I read it. And there's only one point I want to break down really. Jesus told told them that they all would um, fall away. But it's very interesting. Peter's personality is kind of like mine. Get excited. Go do it. You know. Doesn't mean I don't plan for things. But a lot of times I'll react. So, um, but the cool thing is, Peter wasn't the only one. What does it say here? But he, Peter, kept insisting, if I have to die with, with you, I will never deny you. I believe Peter meant it. I believe he seriously believed he would never deny Christ. But it was part of God's will for the, in the purpose because later on, he gets blessed. Jesus talks to him in three three things to encourage him. But the very end here, <coughs> yeah, Peter, Peter's insisting, right? He's all, Rah! but the other guys are, are watching this and they're hearing it, right? And they all said the same thing. I don't hear pastors point that out. I haven't. And I've been to multiple churches over many years. Since 1985 when I became a believer. They always pick on Peter. Peter gets picked on more than anybody that I know of in the Bible. For his faith. And then for falling like when he sank in the water. And for being gusto. I think he's the one that chopped the ear off of the dude. And Jesus is like don't do that. And he fixed the ear. Peter was the go-getter man. No one else jumped off the boat. <laughs> Nobody even... They were all scared. And Peter's like, Lord, if that's you, let me walk on the water. Dude walked on water, man. <laughs> but just remember, uh, Mark 14, and it said Peter, Peter kept insisting. He was like gung-ho. And they all said the same thing. Remember, this was in the um, upper room. They are having that last supper. Yeah, I'm really tired. Just remember, and they all said the same thing. But who gets picked on? <laughs> Peter. But he also got blessed differently and more than the other guys. So uh, that's it. I told you it would be a short one. But remember, don't pick on Peter so much. Give the guy a break, man. <laughs> he, he had faith. He had real faith. All right. You guys have a good one. Don't forget, share the word. Get in the word. Remember, I always encourage you guys at least one chapter a night. I do the New Testament, but you can do the Old Testament too. But just make sure you're reading it every day. Even if you're tired like I am, I'm still forcing myself to read it. Because I want to, for one. Because it's a habit now. So, plus I want to. Because I love Jesus. Alright, you guys have a good day.